Hello, converting multi-digit repeating decimals. Now, uh, a couple days ago, you should have done single-digit repeating decimals. Now we're doing multi-digit repeating decimals. The process is same. The process is the same, but it is going to be just a little bit more difficult. So, first of all, like just in all the other problems, the first thing we do is let x equal the number that is given, 2.54 with the bar over the 4. Um, in fact, this problem is just like the ones that you did previously because it is only one digit repeating. So to get the decimal point to the end of the number, we need to multiply by 100. So it will be 100x is equal to 254.4 repeating. The 4 is still repeating. Then what I need to do is rewrite, again, just like I did with the 100 times, 100x, I need to go 10x because I want to get my decimal point here where the red is showing. So I have just the point for repeating part. So I'm going to go 10x is equal to 25.4 repeating. I need to set it up so my repeating decimal part goes away. When I subtract, I'm going to get 90x is equal to 229. Then I divide both sides by 90. And 229 over 90 is in simplest form. So that is your answer. And again, this problem was just like the uh, previous set of problems that we did with repeating decimals. So a little review. Now let's take a look at the next problem. Rewrite simplest form. 2.3 repeating. Let x equal 2.3 repeating. We're going to multiply by 10. So we get 10x is equal to 23.3 repeating. And then I subtract the original. I'm going to subtract the x because I need to subtract so that my point 3 repeating goes away. And I get 9x is equal to 21. Divide by 9. Divide by 9. 3 goes into both. 7 thirds. And 7 thirds is... Uh, two and one third. Now I didn't show this before, but I'm going to show it now, and that is most of you have figured out on your own. Point three repeating is one third. Um, point six repeating is two thirds. Some of you might have even figured out that point one repeating is equal to one ninth. Point 0.2 repeating is equal to 2 ninths. Point 0.3 repeating, yes, we said that's one third, but it's because it's 3 ninths, which reduces to one third, and the pattern continues. And you might be saying, oh, but Mr. Altabelli, why didn't you show that to me before? Well, because of the problems that you're going to have to know how to do, like this one, um, where you don't have a simple easy pattern like that okay you have to understand the process so x equals 0 0.48 with a bar over the 48 I am going to multiply by a hundred so I get 100 x is equal to 48.48 repeating I have the 0.48 repeating part so I need to subtract something that has the 0.48 repeating part, which is the given one, so I can go subtract x and 0 0.48 repeating. When I subtract that, I get 99x is equal to 48. Divide by 99. 3 goes into both, so I get 16 over 30. 3, I believe. 16 over 33. Yes. All right. And some of you right away are jumping to the conclusion that, well, it's just over 99. Well, it's not always over 99. So that's why we have to learn the process. Here we have 
seven two. So we're gonna let x equal one point seven two with the bar over the two. Multiply by a hundred. We have to get the decimal point to the end of the number all the way to there. So that will equal 172.2, repeating. And then I need to subtract the 0.2 part. But I have 1.72 with the 2 repeating. I need to move this over one place so that I have 17.2. To do that, I multiply by 10. So I take the x, multiply by 10, I get 10x. And I take the 1.72 repeating times 10, and I get... 17.2 repeating. Now I can subtract and I get 90x is equal to 172 minus 17 is 155 divide by 90 divide by 90 5 goes into both so we'll get 31 over 8 and that will be the answer. All right. Hopefully, I know I'm saying this here after we've already done four problems, but hopefully you're pausing, trying to do the problem on your own, then checking to see if you did it right. That's the process of learning. All right. Here we have another one. This is exactly the type that we need to build up to. So then we're going to let x equal... 0.476 with just the 76 part repeating. I need to multiply by a thousand to get my decimal point there. So that is going to be 1000x is equal to 476.76 repeating. And now I need 0.76. Okay, well, to get four. To get 0.76 with the number that I'm given, I have to have 4.76, meaning I need to multiply by 10. I need to multiply by 10 to get it to move over one place. So I go 10x is equal to 4.76 with the bar over the 76. Now when I subtract, I get 990x is equal to... 472, divide both sides by 990, divide by 990. I know at least a 2 goes into both, and that will be 236 over 495, and I believe that is it. Okay, so again, what did we do? We multiplied by a thousand and then we multiplied by ten. And we subtracted those. The reason why we multiplied by a thousand and ten is so we can set up the problem so the repeating decimal cancels, disappears. All right, let's take a look at the next problem. Holy cow, we're done already. All right, good luck.